Hello everyone and today I have the Max Lumi from Onyx Books and what I want to get into today I'm going to keep these videos a little short so I'm going to go into certain sections at a time and create more videos so in that way you can consume each of the videos a little bit better uh, because they have less content in them so today I want to get into the settings of the, the device the hardware and let's go straight into it so we're going to go into the settings. I think I've um, mentioned in one of the in the unboxing video, but this is of course the new um, Onyx Books 13.3 device, the Max Lumi. It has Android version 10 on it, and it also has a new firmware with with new uh, features and and options that you'll see, especially in the the note taking section, which I will not get into today. It's a lot different from the the older firmware and older version of Android so in this section is similar to the the other version I'll go into some of the areas you get the the language options in here that you can set you can set up um, the text-to-speech output as well the device does have a speaker on it so you can get sound from this device unlike the the, the Nova Nova 2 if we go into the date time settings and here you can set the different options for the date time go into power you'll see all the options that you can do for the power we can set the auto sleep from three minutes to never we can go ahead and set the power off time timeout here from 15 minutes to never you can delay disconnection after the device in, enters the sleep mode. And if we do this, we can have it um, dis delay the disconnection immediately or never. The battery status, we can go ahead and see what the, the battery charge is, whether it's charging. Um, and you can also see some other useful information here. We can turn off the battery percentage icon that shows up in the top toolbar. And you can also see the last full charge on this device was 48 minutes ago. Screen usage since the full charge was 48 minutes as well. Go back out. We can disable finger touch. So if we select that, you'll see here that the touch to my finger does not work anymore I'll have to go in and use the pen I can enable finger touch now and then I can yet again use my finger we can show the percentage option here you can enable or disable that activate the front light uh, when the device wakes up so when the device wakes up the front light comes on if you want that option there you can enable that you can auto sleep after you close the cover. Always turn Wi-Fi on when the device boots up. It's off by default. You can turn that on. You can also disable the power button um, to switch to standby. So if we go ahead and enable that there, we push the power button. You can see it does nothing here. And if we press and hold it, then you get the options here for power off, restart, or standby. If I disable this, what will happen is if I press the power button, it goes into standby immediately. Go back out. These are all the power options. If we go into network settings, you have the options for your turning on wireless or Bluetooth or setting VPN. You can click on the Wi Fi and it'll take you into the area where you can add. Um, new wireless um, SSIDs networks um, you can also come in here and you can select these forget them and remove some of the wireless uh, SSID or networks from the Wi-Fi settings and Bluetooth you can enable Bluetooth you can also go into the Bluetooth area here and you can um, search for devices and then add them in this area here you can also go into each one of the devices. You can forget that device and have it removed as well. We go into applications. So in here we can 
enable or disable the US, USB debugging, which is used when you're connecting your device to your computer so that you can move files um, onto the device or take files off. Application information, you can go in here and see the different apps that are installed and you can manage them from here as well. You can go in here, select one, you can force stop it or you can uninstall. Come out. You can calibrate your stylus from here as well. You can hit start or rest I won't recalibrate right now. You can enable the bookstore or disable it. It's enabled by default. The store is right here, shows up in this area. If I disable it, the icon shows up, but when you select it, it shows that it's disabled. Set the back button as home. You can select this here, and every time you select this back button, this button here, there's also a fingerprint scanner. It will go, go home. Um, by default, again, it's a back button. You can freeze third-party applications in the background by default. Um, we can automatically update the optimization settings for, for third-party apps, which is here. And if you're in a third-party app, let's go into the third-party app here. There's a couple different ways on how you can optimize your, your application. You can either set the speed of the device by default here. And you can see I have it in speed mode right now. And this is for the device itself. Every, so everything will run at this speed. Or you can use the nav ball when you're in the app hit the setting app optimization settings here and you can customize the settings for this specific app to run in different ways and different settings here. And this will be, as you can see, app optimization notion. It will be for this specific app. Go back to settings. All right, the other area, enable Google Play. By default, the Play Store is not enabled, so you will have to go through a few options here. Um, if you tap on the GSF ID, you set this up with your Google account, you restart the device, and then you can actually use the Play Store. And then here you can change some of those settings or redo it. Let's go out of application, go into account management. And account management here is where you can set up your different accounts for logging into Google or OneDrive, so on and so forth. You can also bind um, a cloud service, one of these different services here, to sync your, your notes as well to one of these. If you go to Manage Accounts, you can see the accounts that I've already added. You can also add new ones here. If we go into the next option here, Onyx Account, this is what you use to sync to Onyx Cloud. And you have some additional options in here that you can um, play with here where you can um, note cloud backup. You can push um, files to a certain location, your read statistics, gift center, and also push read. In more settings, this is where you can come in and set up your password. Also uh, set up the fingerprint reader. Here you can display characters briefly as you type. So you can show the password as you're typing it, it will show the letter instead of obfuscating the uh, password. You can come in here, gesture manager. This here is pretty nice where I've enabled it. It's disabled by default, where you can set up the back, back to home, and also the multitasking switcher option here for gestures. So how this works is now, using these gestures, if I swipe up from the corner, you can see I can get to the multitask. If I go back, using the back button. Oh, here, more options. Gestures. Back in here, if I want to go home, I can just swipe up in the middle. Let's go back there. And if I just want to go back, I can just swipe up on this corner and it goes back. I can change the, the system font in here. Uh, by default, it's set at the standard 
uh, font size. I put it to small. You can customize your home page. So every time you go home, you can have the option set to where home actually is uh, when you go home. So and I've set that to the to the apps. You can set it up for the library, the store, the notes, your storage, or even settings. Server settings. Here, mine is the US. Um, it set it up by default, probably when I did the, the time zone, I'm not sure, um, or when I set up the language. But you can change that here to either US or Asia. And then you have the function tabs, display icons only. So over here you have the icons with text underneath them here in the tabs. If I select this, you can see that the, the text disappears. Firmware update. This is obviously where you do your firmware updates. You can set it to automatically update. And you can also, if you want to manually check, you can hit the button here, check for updates. And then there's feedback. So you can come in here and if you want to leave Onyx uh, some feedback, you can do add, type in whether you have a problem, an issue, or you just have feedback and then put in that information um, and basically attach any um, documents or photos that you might want to send with this particular feedback or issue and then you hit send. The other area here in the settings is if you go ahead and click on that top portion there right here either way where you click in there it'll get you to the same place so it goes to the about for the device gives you some information on the device here you can go into other information as well you can get the IP address the Bluetooth Mac address the kernel information and the source code license privacy policy certification information and then your power on duration you can also from this about device section factory reset your device there's also this special thanks click on this you'll get a message from onyx um, they're giving you a thank you for being a box user the other area where there are settings is in the pull down so if you pull down from the top menu you see you have some options here where you can get to certain settings um, you can set up split screen as one we did not go into rotate you can actually screencast as well we talked about the speed mode and setting it from here you can set up contrast and you can also enable or disable the the finger touch you can also set set or disable or enable the the screen front light you can turn this on or off from here individually you can also sync them and when you move the the actual levels here they will go in sync or again you can unsync them and have them um, set to different levels you can also enable or disable the sound from this actual drop down as well we click on the config here you can get into setting what the media volumes are any alarm volumes notification volumes you can set up do not disturb there's the default notification sound you can change this here as well to a bunch of different sounds there is the default alarm sound again you can change that as well and then other sounds and vibrations screen locking sounds you can enable or disable charging sounds and vibrations again the same thing and then any touch sounds go back and that will basically do it for all of the settings the the other thing that you might want to do here is you can hit edit on the top menu and you get a few more options that you can add to the to that menu okay so that's going to be it for this video and i really only wanted to get into the device um, hardware settings um, but one one more thing i did want to show some of the hardware and what comes with this hardware so if we go into this app uh, compute z we can see that we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 636, which is 1.6 gigahertz uh, max 
speed. You can see it's an octa core processor. If we go into the device area, it shows the Max Lumi from Onyx. Um, you can see 13.33 inches, the screen resolution, the screen uh, density, the amount of RAM that comes with the device, the available RAM, the internal storage, and also the available storage. We go into system, we can see some of the system information where we mentioned this Android version 10 and some other relevant information about the system you can see there. The battery, you also see from the battery information here, um, it is a 4220 uh, or 4220 uh, millivolt battery. Go into thermals and I don't think there's any sensors and there are no sensors. Okay, so that is it for this video. Um, hope you like the information. As I said, I'm gonna break up these videos into smaller bite-sized chunks for the different areas of this device and the things that you can do with this device. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Please like and subscribe to the channel and have a good day.